Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ranjiraj and you are streaming on the Study Beast. So today in this video, I will be discussing regarding uh, single layer perceptron. So in my previous video, I discussed regarding the McKillock and the Pitts model. So before that, I discussed regarding the biological neural network. So that was moreover like a biology lecture or uh, a medical lecture. So uh, first you have to watch that video to understand how the brain neurons actually works and how the human brain uh, actually works. So uh, first, if you have not watched that video, then kindly watch that video first. Then you can move on to this uh, video because uh, you will not understand certain things uh, which I'm explained in that video called as the biological neural networks in soft computing. So let's get started. So what are these perceptrons? So first let us understand what is perceptrons and what is then we'll understand what is single layer and single layer likewise you have multi-layer perceptrons. So what is perceptrons first of all? So uh, like our human brain consists of millions and millions of uh, neural networks like neurons interconnected like if we have to implement that in the computer region and create a robotic agent and to behave in a similar manner like how the human being or uh, human what activities the human being does that you have to impart or implement it into a robotic agent so for that you have to create some network some kind of a network at the back end systems so that you have to percept so first let us understand what is percept from percept we get the perceptrons so percept basically is like perception perception of something which we have read and which is there in our memory bank so when we are reading books or watching some movies we have some perceptions of the images or the words which are encountered and which are at the back of our memory bank so uh, that is called as perception so the machines uh, or the adders or the mechanical uh, components which we use to integrate or uh, make these things practical so those things are called as perceptrons so perceptrons are nothing but a simplest form of a neural network which is used for classification of linearly separable components like uh, if we have a graph uh, which have a straight line passing through uh, the center like the slope is equal to y is equal to mx plus c for example if we have that line and above that we have some class 1 and class 2 now this line what it does it basically separates these two classes with the help of that line so likewise we have parabolic equation or hyperbolic equation or ellipse so in this a basic simple linear function or a single simplest neuron we take so that is called as a single layer so that's why it is called as a single layer neuron or a single layer perceptron the single layer comes in that way like we have single one particular single neuron and to that neuron with the help of various synapses connected or nodes connected in terms of digital terms we have the uh, what call as the signals which are inputting or coming like uh, when does a single neuron gets its power or to exhibit that particular property whether it is a sad emotion love or any other human behavior that's exhibiting so one particular neuron uh, when you take from the human brain it is connected to millions and millions of other neurons so when a strong input signal hits or triggers this synapse which is connected to this particular single end neuron then it fires some output which is desired so that is basically how this single neuron works so single neuron does not have any single end but it has connected to various other hundreds and millions of other uh, neurons or the networks to which it is connected so basically uh, we start with this uh, topic called as single layer perceptrons so uh, the perceptrons that actually uh, we build is from the origin that we get from our brain so uh, the working of the brain is very complicated so we take one particular neuron from that and we study and we study and we implement it in the mathematical and other logical terms now this is you may see this is a logical or all mathematical equations and things are there so it's all mathematics basically when we have to construct such a uh, big amount of like 
a big thing that is a neuron we have to implement in the robotic agent so obviously mathematics and logics will come into function so let's get started so first uh, we have uh, this like you can see this x1 x2 x3 and x4 so all these are input signals which you can uh, like from the external agents it is getting hit to this nodes so these are nothing but the synaptic waves or the synaptic impulses from which the output is generated and it is given to the summing function uh, so this weights consist of wk1 wk2 and wk3 wk4 so for uh, four signals we have the, its associated weights and this k stands for one single neuron so k number of neurons are there in this case so first uh, when this input signal it is uh, nodes that is a synapses this you can uh, assume as a synapse in the human brain so this signal external signal when it hits this uh, k neurons with has some synaptic weights associated with it it goes to this summing junction so this is a summing junction so this summing junction will produce an output called as vk and this vk when inputted with a bias function now in uh, this robotic agents or when you want to construct an uh biological neural networks uh, for perceptrons you have one component that is the bias function bk for reversing and for traversing the functions like for implicit and for explicit functions you need bk and this bk when uh, bk along with vk when it is fed to the activation function so activation functions determines all the uh, complete output that you get from so all the desired outputs are generated from this activation function so activation function gives the output as yk so this model is called as a perceptron now we can further simplify this model so first of all uh, when you understand this model now you have to convert it in mathematical terms so in mathematics a neuron k is represented one particular single neuron is represented as uk is equal to summation j is from 1 to m multiplied by wkj multiplied by its input signal so that is clear so uk here it is a linear combiner of all the output signals like its output will be uk which is uh, coming from the input signals all the strong input signals and this input signal should be very strong in order to generate the trigger or the impulse so this is one particular function next function we move on to the vk so vk would be obviously this uk this coming uk plus this bk that is the bias function and you have this final output that is yk so this phi this symbol is phi and this is the activation function when you feed it into the activation function you get uk plus bk now you have to keep in mind that this limit is from 1 to m you should not change this function and substitute as vk unless and until you change the limits from 1 to 0 so you can simplify this equation as well as this uh, diagram which i have drawn to this by changing the limits that is from j is equal to 0 to m wkj into xj and when you change these limits from 0 to m that is from 1 to 0 you can write this that is yk is equal to phi of vk so the limits must change from 1 to 0 so initially it was 1 when it is changed from 0 1 to 0 you can write it as phi of vk so you should not make a mistake like if you do this here then this expression goes wrong so this is the equation so this is a simplified equation so based on this equation we will draw another diagram of the perceptron that will be without this bias function and it will go inside this input function so like i said perceptron is the simplest form of a neural network for the classification of patterns said to be linearly separable and a single neuron with all adjustable synaptic weights and the bias is called as a single layer perceptron so this is entirely completely about the perceptron so now as we said based on this equation we will be drawing another diagram for this so there is nothing 
uh, you have to change in this just this equation is this one so I will keep it here and what I will do is I will just eliminate this bias function from here since it is included in this and I will provide one w k 0 and x 0 plus 1 means it's like a head start like this plus 1 indicates that it is a bias function so when we have removed this bias function from here we have to incorporate it here it is x 0 plus 1 so this function will generate this equation and hence so you can write this yk output function as phi of vk that is the activation function of vk now this is the final and simplified form of a single layer perceptron and so you can construct uh, many other models like by connecting more and more other further simple uh, adders or by connectors you can extend it more now when you see I have uh, said this activation function is completely determines this output function so activation function is of how many types so you can actually use three types of activation function first second and third the first type of activation function is the heavy side function the second type of function is your piecewise linear function and the final and the most complicated perhaps you have to like uh, code and code more to this so that is called as a sigmoid function so it is like more of an inverse function like uh, we denote it as 1 upon 1 plus exponential of minus a v for this so this is more over like a complicated function so this when you incorporate into the this activation function so this is a dot operator so any of this function when you incorporate it it will provide the desired output so that's all for now based upon the concept of the single layer perceptrons in my next video i'll discuss regarding a problem or an example to solve the single layer perceptrons obviously by understanding this concept you have to implement it in the real life and so you need to understand with the help of an example so in my next video i'll discuss regarding uh, an example i will take one simple example based on how the single layer perceptron works so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video